We are making squash dumplings today in the News 9 kitchen and to help us do this we have John Tuttle from the Main Street Grill and Bar in Pittsfield. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I can't wait to make this. Let's start. You got it. Okay, first way I've done is I've already prepared our dumplings or slash raviolis. They're homemade. Okay. So we take our squash, roast it off, season it with a little brown sugar, sage, uh, a little bit of bacon, breadcrumbs, cream cheese. Okay, and that's your basic stuffing. Okay. And I've bought wonton wrappers, stuffed them with that, uh, sealed them with a little bit of cornstarch, and as always, when you start boiling pasta or something like that, you always want to make sure your water's at a nice simmer, okay? Okay. We're going to serve this with a sage and brown butter sauce. Ooh. Okay, this is just one of our many fall specials that we're starting to get into the utilization of the fall harvest, you okay. know, of duck breast and pork with rosemary, roasted squashes. Uh, we also had venison, you know, which is a very big hit. Sounds delicious. You know, we'll start running these tonight and all the way through winter, you know. It's never going to be the same thing. You can always check it out on Facebook to find out what we're running, what's coming about in season, you know. It could be homemade apple pie with, you know, baked cheddar in it. Okay. Really? Yeah. So we're starting the sage brown butter sauce. Since the ravioli is going to cook, it's going to be a couple, you know, about a minute, minute and a half. Okay. So first of all, we do is to start melting your butter. Yes. Okay. Easy. Okay. Easy. Once it starts <laughs> to get to that point, yeah. That's the easy part. Melt the butter. Yes. Okay. Okay. So the next step, what we're going to do? Yes. Is we'll add our herb, mm -hmm. and which is a little fresh sage. Okay. okay, see how that butter's starting to change some color? Ooh. It's caramelizing and the flavor's coming out and it gets more of a nutty flavor, okay? okay? This is a white wine lemon mixture. All you need is a little splash of that, all right? Okay. And once this keeps going, it's gonna go real quick on you for a sauce. Okay. All right, a little lemon zest in there. A little salt and pepper. And just mm, let that go. Just smell it. Yeah. Mm. Very aromatic, very aromatic. Yes, it is. The sauce literally will take you about 30 seconds, maybe, okay. and that's it. If you let it go too long, the pan is still hot, it'll burn. So Ooh. it's like very last minute. You okay. don't want to let that happen because it'll get very bitter. Yes. Okay, so our dumplings are floating. Okay. Which indicates that they're nice and done. Okay. I wish people at home could smell this because it's, <laughs> it's just so delicious. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. It's a great time. Yeah, I'll fill the harvest and you know, everything coming around in New England, the apple picking and you know all that stuff. So we place this in the in, in the plate, yep. and then what's next? What's next is we're going to finish it with our brown butter sauce. Okay. okay. And we're running out of time, so I want you to help us finish this off here, John. You got it. Then I'm going to place some of our house-made candied walnuts on Ooh, the top. Delicious. Okay. Looking. Give it a little sweetness, a little bit of fresh grated <gasps> Parmesan cheese. Finish that right off, touch more herbs just for a little color and accent, and a little bit of lemon zest. Excellent job. Good John, job thank you so much for being here. This looks delicious. Thank you. We'll be right back.